Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add decimals. Now, if you're able to add whole numbers, you're going to be able to add decimals. Just a couple of different things as far as setting up the problems go. If you get how to set up the problems, you're going to be good to go. Let's jump into our examples and start with number one, where we have 18 and 4 tenths plus 6 and 72 hundredths. So when we set these problems up, we want to make sure that we line our decimals up. That's going to line up all of our places. So number one, we're going to do 18 and 4 tenths plus 6 and 72 hundredths. Notice how the decimals are lined up. Now it may look a little offset there, but we can use placeholder zeros to better align this and make it uh, look a little more organized. Meaning 18 and 4 tenths, we can put a zero in the hundredths place. That way we look a little more lined up. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value. That's an equivalent decimal, so we are able to do that. We're not changing the value of the problem. Once we have that, we add. Start with the hundredths place. So zero plus two is two. Then we move to the tenths place. Four plus seven is 11. So put our one and regroup or carry there. Now bring our decimal straight down. It's lined up throughout the entire problem. Now we add the ones. One plus eight is nine plus six is 15. Regroup or carry the one. Now we add the tens place. One plus one is two. So we get 25 and 12 hundredths. To recap, as far as where we put the decimal in our answer, the decimal should be lined up throughout the entire problem. So we bring it straight down. Now, before I move on to number two, I do want to mention a common mistake, and that's going to be lining the digits up, meaning for number one, it would look like this, 18 and 4 tenths plus 6 and 72 hundredths. So three digits lined up with three digits. So you can see that the decimals are not lined up. Therefore, our places are not lined up, and we're not going to place the decimal correctly in our answer. So this is going to give us something completely incorrect and is a common mistake. So avoid just lining the digits up. Make sure you have the decimals lined up. Now it is possible that you line the decimals up and then the digits line up as well. Most important part being the decimals are lined up. Let's try another example and move on to number two, where we have 55 and 909 thousandths plus 23 and 3 tenths. So first step, line up our decimals. So 55 and 909 thousandths plus 23 and 3 tenths. So we can use placeholder zeros to line this up a little better. So we can place some zeros to the right of 23 and 3 tenths. Remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value. That's an equivalent decimal, so we can do that. Our last step, we add. So 9 plus 0 is 9. 0 plus 0, 0. 9 plus 3 is 12. Regroup or carry the 1. Our decimal comes straight down. Then we add the 1s. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 3 is 9. And then we end with the 10s. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So our final answer, 79 and 209 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you add decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.